Good morning. I hope you had a good weekend. So, today I thought I would make quick cards. I know Mother's Day is coming up, so we always need cards. And they could also be uh, little paintings that you give as gifts. But I'm going to make four cards in one shot. And I have not tried this idea. So, uh, hopefully it will work. I have a 9x12 piece of watercolor paper. This is Canson XL, 140 pound weight, um, cold press, which is the usual paper that I use for my morning warm ups. And it's 9 inches across. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into four equal parts. So I'm going to put a little mark here at the four and a half inch. I have a T ruler just to make it easy on me. And I'm just going to trace my line down here. Then I need to calculate six inches down because it's 12 inches long. I'm going to put another mark here and just trace the line, draw the line. So a T ruler makes you makes it super quick. You don't have to really calculate. And I'm going to use washi tape. I have this black washi tape that I don't really use. Uh, I think it was part of a set. I've had this for a few years. And so I'm going to use this to block um, and divide. Or, well, yeah, block and divide. Same thing. So, <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do here against the middle fold is I'm going to put one on both sides of that line that I just drew. You're probably going to see the top of my head. I'm sorry about that. And then I'm going to put another piece right on top of that. Make sure that I have, that I cover any gaps. There we go. I'm going to do the same for the middle on the other side. So again, one piece. against that line and then another one right up against it and if that middle fold if there's a little gap in the middle fold uh, it's not too dramatic because I will be cutting on that line so I can fix that as well and then I'm going to use the tape all around the edges to create the border on that side so that way I don't have to measure, I know that my tape is the same width and by blocking in the middle part I know that my cards or my paintings are going to have, all of them are going to have an equal border all around and I'm being very, very generous with the washi tape because like I said I don't really use it. And um, to my surprise, washi tape blocks in really well. Uh, this is the second time that I'm using washi tape. And I was quite surprised. I have not yet experienced paint seeping under. There we go. Once you've done that, make sure that all the edges or, or all the tape is stuck down really well, especially at the corners. All right, so now we have a beautiful window to play with. It looks like a window. So, I'm going to start by giving a super light wash with the number 46 from the Pastel Dream. So it's a nice sky blue. And I'm going to go very... Like, it's not even... It's quite sketchy, I want to say. Very quickly. You could use a flat brush if you want, but I love to use a round brush because it gives um, a nice variegated sky. And then at the bottom, I'm even going to drop a little bit of avocado from the um, 
tropical scent, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. You can start also by wetting your, your squares if you want to with water, but I just want to do these super quickly. I want the ability to produce those very fast, so no fussing about. And of course, if your brush doesn't have a lot of water, your paint is going to dry super fast. So I load up my brush quite well. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at something like very variegated. And I even have a little bit of that green in my brush still because I did not rinse it properly and that just suits me fine. Like These are ideal to do in a rush like let's say you're invited somewhere you want to give a little something but you know you don't necessarily want to give a store-bought gift make them a little painting or a card. All right I'm just gonna wipe a little bit uh, the excess paint over there. Okay, so you can let it air dry or use a heat tool if you want to speed things up. Now I'm going to switch to a liner, not a script brush. This is a number one from Princeton Neptune. And I'm going to grab this avocado color from the tropical set. And I'm going to do the stems. Now I'm going to support my my hand here because I have wet paint underneath so I can't really um, rest my arm down below or on the paper down below on the paper and I'm just gonna make quick of my movement and it, I'm I'm actually just barely touching the paper It's one of the things I love about this brush is that it gives us such a nice soft look. I could even take a little bit of brown from that set, which is number 34, and just dot here where the flower meets the stem. Like so. Oops. <clears throat> Again, the avocado. Hope you can see this. Oops, very quickly. I'm not pressing hard on the brush, so that's why I get to have like these thin lines and try to give movement to your lines. Like this one is curvy. When um, the stems are curved like this, it gives it a very soft vibe as opposed to what I'm used to doing, which is straight up and down. Again, a little bit of brown. Kind of like dotting a little bit here. Like so, whoops. I keep getting out of frame because my paper is moving. <laughs> More avocado. They look so cute and so delicate. I think I think mothers would appreciate receiving that kind of a painting, don't you think? And the brown. Hmm. I 
tiny dots. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the leaves. And for the leaves, I'm going to take avocado. Uh, I might mix it in with a little bit of that number 18, but I'm not sure. So for now, I'm going to use that. So let's see here. I'm going to come in from the bottom and then I'm going to start lightly push down a little bit and dragging it to the side and then go back up. So I know that um, tulip leaves are a little bit like thicker all the way up but I kind of like that look. Oops. Now this one is big. <laughs> and let's see, I'm going to do another one here. Like so. And maybe one here. And I'm going to add some water to my paint. And then maybe one that goes on this stem here and I'm going to add a couple of stray ones so like this and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to go like this just so that we don't see the ends of them because technically they're stemming from the ground and whoops not that I'm going to Take a little bit of thunderstorm and just add a tiny bit. And I make quick of my movements. I'm not applying myself. This has to be very quick, like this. Okay. I'm going to repeat the same thing for all the other ones. So again, light, press down. Okay, let me put this on this side. Okay, so light, press down and lift. It's so much fun to play with the script brush. I've delayed it for so long. I've had this in my stash for quite a while and I've always hesitated because I didn't quite know what to do with it, really, honestly. <laughs> but I'm hooked. All right. And then again, I'm going to Give that a little zoop zoop type from side to side. Oh, look at that. How cool. I like that. Leave it raw like this. Like, don't, you know, don't put too much. Not put too much, but don't, um, don't spend too much time on everything. Okay. Uh, mind frame, yes. So again, light, push down. Once you get the hang of it, you can do quite a few very quickly. Okay, now once again, I'm just going to swipe side to side. Yes! This is fun! Now it looks weird because I've got the black tape. But once I remove the tape, I promise it will be pretty. Um, I'm thinking also of doodling a little bit. We'll see. Okay. 
Okay, once again, swoop, swoop, swoop. <laughs> I have such fancy terms for everything I do. <laughs> Oops. Yes, okay. Time to remove the tape. <laughs> I love this part so much. And with um, washi tape, I don't have to worry about it lifting the paper. At least this one, I know that I've tested it, so it just removes so easily. And yet, you get full coverage, which is kind of cool. I'm going to cut this now because when I doodle, I think I want to be able to turn the paper around. So I've got my paper trimmer here. I'm just going to cut on the line that I made with the pencil. Aren't they cute already? Ah! <laughs> time these are so delicate I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab oh I've got a double five double five pigma micron pen that should be awesome all right so what I want to do here Okay, so let's see here. Um, I know that I'm supposed to make tulips out of those, but there's nothing that say that you can't make roses out of tulips. <laughs> I'm gonna do very quick, kind of like roses centers on top of these. Does it make sense? Nope. Do we care? No. Look how pretty. See how pretty this is already? Like I wouldn't even do more than that. Maybe just if I really want to be fun and whimsical, maybe. I wouldn't do too much of that. I honestly think that just these little squigglies on top are just enough, but I'm just gonna make a couple of these here. I've done those before. I'm not reinventing the wheels for this. Essentially, just doodling around, you know? And I don't know if I should add anything at the bottom. Let me see how it looks on the whole. Maybe a couple of, maybe a couple of these. thrown in here and there, you know, just for good measure. There we go. No more than that. That's not true. I'm not done yet. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. No, I'm not. <laughs> I kind of want to just do this to cut. All right, next. Okay, so I'm gonna try these without the rosy centers. I think I wanna do a couple of dots. And let's see. I kinda like the little heart shapes here on each side. Can you even see that? Yeah. Um, this one seems to have its own dots. <laughs> its own yellow dots. And I 
Maybe just a little bit. And this one. I'm kind of varying whenever I doodle underneath here. These ones I'm gonna make little little bubbles. Cause why not? I think I like this better than this, but cute. Next. Oops. Now these ones, hmm. Okay. I'm going to make the rose tops on these one, on this one in particular, because I kind of like it. I think it just adds the perfect touch. And just a couple of hearts on the sides. Not hearts. Oh, well, they kind of look like hearts, I guess. And then. You know, I make this up as I go, right? Nothing is planned. This is still my morning exercise, so nothing is planned. I think today this one might be my favorite. Oh, pretty. Okay, now this one I think I'm gonna do like so. And hmm. Let's make bubbles again. Tiny bubbles. I'm not going to sing, don't worry. <laughs> it's too early to sing. Yes. Okay, I think this one's my favorite. I think the reds, they need a little bit of help. Um, it's kind of like a washed out color, I wanna say. Yeah, I think it looks better this way. I'm gonna show you up close in a few seconds. All right, one by one. <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. Uh, I can't, okay, I'm gonna bring you a close, but here, I kinda have to do this. Oh, you know what's missing? Huh. Not gold. <laughs> I fooled you for a second. It's missing some white. That's what's missing. I have my number two round by snap. And I'm gonna drag some of that. I can't even remember if this is gouache or Copic ink. I think it's Copic ink. <laughs> they reside on my desk <laughs> as such <laughs> uh, all the time. But sometimes I pick up something else 
I know I've used gouache in my painting for my patrons, which by the way, I'll post a picture over here. I'm so, so proud of this, um, this painting. I had it in my head to redo a painting that I have done when I was in Florida and I did it. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of white off to the side here on each of them and that's that. And then color, oops, no, too much. Color a little bit of those dots so that I can see the outline on one side. Next. Center of these roses. Roses tulips. What should we call them? Rosips? <laughs> yes! I'm having a blast. You know, it's funny how sometimes the simplest things can bring you so much joy. I'm not even sure if I'm putting white dots here. Yeah, that's, I forgot to add dots here. Oh, I'll just add the white on the flowers. I need to do more in the center here. It doesn't show as much because I kind of drew into the sky, but there you go. Hmm. My favorite are these ones. Look how pretty! Pretty and simple. Quick, you know? I mean, not counting the drying time, I'm not sure because I haven't edited the video, but I'm sure it didn't take me more than half an hour to do all these. Yes! Yes! them. Quick, simple, dirty, grungy, sketchy, spotty. <laughs> what else can I add? Um, I know some of you are going to say, what? No gold? Nope. I don't think this one, I don't think gold would add anything to this other than confuse the eye. I don't know. They just make me happy. It set the mood for my whole day. I mean, who wouldn't like to have a handmade card uh, with your own artwork on it? I know I would. I would like to receive cards with with original artwork on it. Um, and if you are doing this for yourself, how about framing these? These would be so cute in an arrangement, like a like a four little um, four little frames on your walls. I don't know. It's you could even do bookmarks. Like if you plan accordingly uh, on your paper, the way you put them the washi tape, you could do bookmarks as well. That could be another fun uh, gift idea for Mother's Day and any other occasions. Anyways, that's it for this week. I, uh, this week, today. <laughs> Boy, it's going to be a long week. 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're going to give it a try. And if you do, please uh, make sure you tag me. Or if you want to share on your social media, you can tag me at CC on Facebook and Instagram. That is the best way for you to tag me if you want to share photos of the stuff that you did inspired by what you just saw. Yes. <laughs> and as usual, the supplies list will be in the description below, right underneath this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, my awesome patrons, for being great supporters of my art. I appreciate each and every one of you. I wish you a beautiful and creative day, and I will see you tomorrow.